Well, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Don't forget to um, check out my website, which is rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk for further information about this tool, amongst other tools um, that my brother and myself have developed throughout the years for playing roulette. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Again, greatly supported. Uh, I mean, it will support my channel greatly and um be greatly appreciated if you could do that thank you very much indeed okay so i've got a balance now of 35 20. i'm looking to make two pounds which is my target which is i know i know it's a small target but these targets really do work this is my third recording session today started with 10 pounds i've got 35 made 25 pounds 20 so far and i want to slowly build this balance up I'm going to use the missing section roulette tool again, so click to play. Now, I've added it in on this tool, the spin count now in the bottom left corner there, just above the reset. Spins, how many spins I've had. So you don't have to rely on the double zero anymore now. So you can just uh, click on, look on the uh, the spin count here. Um, okay, so we're going to input the history of numbers from this table into this tool. So 30, 13, 27, 1. 36, 18, 7, 3, 20, 25, 35, and 0. Okay, so I've input 12 spins, and I'm looking for any dozen or any row to miss for 6 spins, which is what my tracking value is currently set to. So we've got a value of 5 on the top row. That's telling me that this... The input of numbers I've put in those 13 spins, five of those spins have missed in a row this top row. So for five spins, it's not hit the, the top row. Three spins in a row, it's not hit the bottom row. Four spins in a row, not hit the second dozen. Four spins in a row, not hit an even number. That's how this works. So... <clears throat> We're betting on events that haven't yet materialized, haven't yet hit. So this is it. Top roll. This is my first bet. 50 pence. Looking to make two pound profit. That's my target. Get to 37.20. 37 pounds, 20 pence is my first target. I'll do a number of targets as I've been doing throughout today. And I'll show you where you can build a balance pretty much doing this. I've been doing this for absolutely years. I've been trying to demonstrate it for about seven years to people on Twitch, on uh, YouTube, on Kick. How you can potentially build, there you go, 24. That's a hit straight away. That gives me one pound profit of my two pound target already. Hitting on that spin, which is perfect. And that, incidentally, was an intersection bet. Now, if I was to reduce this tracking value down to 5, it would highlight that one. Now, the second dozen was at 5, and this was on 6. If I reduced it down to 5, the tracking value would have highlighted 15, 18, 21, and 24. And I would have placed bets on those four numbers. And that would have given me the win. So we're on the bottom row, bottom column, 50 pence. Let's see if I can get another hit. If I hit straight away, I've got my first target of £2, and then I'll set up another target of £2, and this is what I'll be doing. I'm going to try and take and build my balance up further. So my initial target is just to get the £2, and then I've got an overall target as well, which is time-dependent, actually, and how I feel about playing. Four's a hit, boom. So that's £2 profit. I, I hit on my first bets twice in a row. So I'm going to input my balance of 3720 because that's giving me now £2 profit. I'm going to create another target of £2. This is now session number 9 in total. Um, I've made £27.20 so far, hitting a minimum of £2 target. I've gone over that target on occasions. I've got more than the £2, but £2 is a good value to start looking at placing your bets at also we've got four black numbers in a row in the history if this is another black number uh, i was going to say if it's another black then i would um, have covered zero with four pockets either side 
because that's my trigger for that. So this is um, this is the missing section roulette tool, missing section. So these are your section numbers here, 1 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, and 30 to 36. These, um, the values that these highlight at are different, different to the outside bets, dozens, and rolls. The outside bets, dozens, and rolls go off this value here, which is currently set to 6. And the section numbers go off predetermined values that I've set in the tool uh, are the values of 14 and 15. They'll highlight at a value of 14 and 15. Because that's where you normally get your hits, 14 and 15 spins where they've missed. And if it doesn't hit on your 14 for your 15th, then it, it comes back on again at the 22nd spin onwards. So that's how that works. Eleven. So third dozen's not hit for six spins. In fact, if I reduce that down, we can see an intersection. I'm going to play the intersection here. Oops. I'm putting 20 pence on the four numbers in the box and do a split on these and a 10 pence on the 24. So the, the jackpot numbers here, because I've reduced it down to five, five is my trigger value for intersection betting, which is what this is. We've got four numbers, 27, 20, 27 30, 33, 36. That, haven't hit for six spins in the third dozen, and also haven't hit for five spins in the top row, dozen in a row, 27, 30, 33, 36. 29 is a hit, that's a, that's a split number. Now we're just jumping straight onto the top row. There we go. So that gives me a little bit of profit. I had about 70 pence profit there, or something like that. Yeah. I made about 70 pence profit on hitting on that um, intersection split number. This is my first bet on the top row. I'm going to put this back up to 6. I'm going to see if I can get a hit on the 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, or 36, 34. I'm going to repeat the bet and add a chip. So this is going to give me £1.50 profit. On this spin, if it hits, uh, plus the uh, the 90 pence I already made, so I'm going to get to my target of 39.20 or over if I hit on this spin. So I'll achieve my, my next two pounds, minimum of two pounds profit I'll achieve if I hit on this spin now. So any top row number. This is my second bet for the top row. 25. I thought it was going to be six then for a second. Repeat the bet, add a chip. There you go. So you'll notice as well in the history that number 34 went to two pockets to the side of the 34 to get to 25. This has been doing this a lot. It's been doing this a lot this year. And you can just place a bet just doing two pockets out of the side of the last number. In fact, I want to try that with a, a bigger balance. Uh, just purely do that every, every spin because that would be a good... A good um, setup. 10 is a miss. Got a dealer change. Last spin for this dealer was 10. So I'm going to play zero neighbours, but I'm also going to continue with this bet. I'm going to put 20 pence on zero neighbours. There we go. So the best numbers for this to, to hit on here to get the best out of this would be numbers 3, 12, and 15 because. 3, 12, and 15 are the zero neighbours, and they're in that top row, which I'm also betting on. It's the fourth bet for the top row. If this one misses the top row, um, and I want to still carry on placing, my fifth bet will be a repeat bet on the top row, but add two chips instead of just the one. So 3, 12, 15 is what we're looking for, ideally. 30, that's the top row number hitting, so I hit my top row, which is good. But now I'm going to switch to the... Um, second dozen and I'm doing the uh, second dozen and the zero neighbours still so 50 pence on the second dozen so the jackpot numbers here on the second dozen would be 15 and 19 
Still looking for zero neighbors because of the dealer change. The previous spin of the last deal last dealer spin was ten, which wasn't zero neighbors, basically. So four through to twelve is what I'm looking for. Twenty-five, that is a miss. So I'm gonna repeat the bet, add another chip on the second dozen, and leave the same stake for my third bet on the zero neighbors. So zero neighbors hitting will be perfect at this position. Ideally, 15 or 19, they're my jackpot numbers. 15, 19 to hit. So, second, and then we're on the second dozen still. We're on 12 through to 4 and the second dozen numbers. Yeah, that's good. That's number 3. That's your zero, that's my zero neighbors hitting. Gets me to 39.20, which is my £2 profit. I'm going to um, do my third bet on the second dozen. I'm not doing the intersection bet, but I got to 39.20. That gives me £2. So now I'm going to scroll down a little bit further up. I'm going to add another one of these targets while that bet's being placed. Now, I could have placed a bet on the intersection here on 14, 14 17, 20, 23, 11, 26, 13, 16, 19, 22, 15, 18, 21, 24, but I preferred not to do that. 30's landed, I'm going to repeat the same bet, add another chip, and if this is another red number, I'm going to go back to zero neighbours, because well, I would have had five black, uh, five um, red numbers in a row in the history, so it's not hit five blacks in a row if it misses on this spin. This is my... Um, this is my fourth bet for the second dozen, 13 to 24. 13 to 24. 25 is a miss. Right, so it's not hit five reds in a row. And we've got, I'm going to do zero neighbors. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four. So I've done zero neighbours with four pockets either side and I've done an extra two units on top of the two pounds. So I've got a three pounds bet. I started betting at 50 pence on the second dozen. We're now at three pounds. I'm on the second dozen and I'm on the zero neighbours because of the five reds. 24 is the second dozen bet. Boom. That's a hit. So... That's giving me a little bit of juice. So I'm going to repeat the bet on zero neighbours because that's still not hit. So this is the second time for that. And I'm also going to do the middle roll because that's just highlighted at a value of nine now. Well, it's, it highlighted at a value of six, but I was concentrating my bet on the second dozen until that hit. So now this is still highlighted. That's kind of a good sign. It's probably going to hit 32, 35, or the zero potentially on this spin, which will all be good numbers. Well, 32 and 26... 35 would be good. Zero neighbours. 17, that's a middle row number, so that hits that. Fantastic. And this is the final, well, third spin for zero neighbours. Now, if this one misses the third spin for zero neighbours, I double up on the fourth bet for zero neighbours. So, the reason I'm doing zero neighbours is because of the one, two, three, four, five reds in a row in the history. Five reds in a row in the history de determines a bet, or it makes me want to bet on zero neighbours. Because quite often you'll see zero plonking, dropping. So four through to twelve, third bet. And that's 33, which is a miss. So this is now my fourth bet. Repeat the bet. And add another chip. So I've got 40 pence per number. If this hits, I think I get about £5.40 profit. Um, if this one hits on my starting bet value. So placing the bets on the um, on the, those nine numbers. Zero neighbours. But I don't want to see 16, which could be potentially dropping in on this spin. And that would not be a hit. I want to see 26 or 4 neighbour. 12 through to 4. Now, yeah, close to number 16, number 5. So that was my f that was my final bet for the zero neighbours. I'm not going to chase that now. I don't want to chase that. 
Although now I've, I've had a bit of a loss. I'm, I'm down to 33.70. I started at 39.20. I need to try and make six or five pounds um, 50. I'm five pound 50 down at the minute. Which is not a lot. If I can hit on a 20p stake on a straight up, that'll get me that money back there. Uh, potentially. Well, there you go. Four's hit. So if I was to place a bet, an extra bet out there, I would have caught that number four on the Zemo neighbours because four through to 12 is the bet. Zero with four pockets out of side. Right, so I've been. I've been on for 15 minutes, so if I get back up to 39.20 and then get into profit from that position, it's going to be a stop. Because I've lost enough times now in a row. And I want to preserve my balance and my bankroll as much as possible, so I'm going to... I'll try and get back up to 39.20 and we'll take it from there. I'll see if anything's developing. Nothing's developing at the minute. Everything's hitting, just going from dozen to dozen, from row to row. So there's not really anything. Only the second dozen that's not hit for four spins in a row. That's pretty much it. Everything else is sort of hitting. Low numbers are on a bit of a roll at the minute. There's nothing I can spot really other than nine, nine to go back to nine neighbour or down to ten. That'll be my combo bet. It's 33, it's in between. So if it's doing the in between numbers, then we're looking at 16 neighbor here. So I'm going to do a bit of a bet here. So I've done 16, uh, basically I've got 33 and 4 in my jackpot numbers, I've done 2 pockets to the side of the 4 and the 33, 4 and 33 with 2 pockets either side, 10 numbers covered, 4 and 33 in my jackpot numbers. And it's 36, so that would have been... Second dozen's not hit, 36, so we're looking at 21 here, potentially. Um, second dozen. So, I've just cherry-picked three numbers. When I say cherry-picked, I've just picked three numbers that I think may hit on the second dozen if it hits now. And they're numbers 18, 19 and 21. The 18 in case it goes close to the 9, and the 19 and 21 in case it goes close to 4. Oh, it hit 18, went to 29. Did you see what he did? I hope you did. Um, I've got to repeat that same bet and add an extra chip on that second dozen. I'm going to keep those same bets out there. Um, I'm going to add actually another 1 on 13, because I think 13 might show up any minute. So I've got £30 and 30 pence. I'm sort of playing, adding extra chips out there at the minute. Um, I'm kind of doing that because I want to try and get back up to £39.20. So I want to try and, I'm trying to rush it now, you see. This is what you shouldn't be doing, rushing it. But I might get lucky. 13, 18, 19, 21. 14's a hit. I love that. At least it's a little bit of money. So I'm up to 33.30, 14 just landed, and we've got, uh, I'm going to do my combo here, so 2 either side of 14, 2 either side of 26. So 14, 26 is my combo bet, and I've done 2 pockets either side of each of those numbers, 14 and 26. So 14 and 26, I've got 20 pence on that, on those numbers, they're my jackpot numbers, 14, 26. And it's not going anywhere near my combos, which would suggest sticking to the bottom, uh, sticking to the rolls might be the way, and dozens. So, 
five, let's see, five goals to 25, oops, 25, 22, oh, I wanted to do 25, 22, and 16, and 10, but that was quite a lot of numbers, again, doing the inside game, but any bottom row number to hit, especially number 25, that'll be my jackpot number on this round. 10, I wanted to do 10, it's a hit, bottom row's hitting, so the dozens are hitting at the minute. 10, I'm going to do 2 now. I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my, I'm just going to do one pocket outside of 10, one either side of 2. In fact, I'm going to do 2 either side of 10. Uh, just in case it decides to go a little bit of a spread. So I've done 2 pockets either side of 10, including the 10. And I've done 1 pocket either side of 2. I'm doing my combo bet again. One of my combos has to hit. It will hit. And just uh, 10 and 2. It's just not playing, is it? One's a good number for 147, so I'm going to do my combo for that. And I'll do 13 and 36. And now I'm going to double up. There you go, I'm at £30. 20 pence per number. I've got um, 12 numbers covered. I've got 147, 13. In fact, I've got less than that. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11 numbers covered. I've got 147 with one pocket either side, and I've got 13 and 36 covered. <clears throat> These are the best set of numbers to cover on any table. I could just wait for number one to drop in and do this bet all day long. So I'm hopeful this is going to land. And it's the wrong side of 36. So I should have done the neighbour number of the 36 as well. Uh, top row, so we might hit the 30 here. So we're going to go to the top row. 30 will be my preferred bet here. I'm going to put 20 pence on the 30. And I'm going to do the 11 to repeat and cover the 8 as well. So now I've dipped down below 30 pounds. Basically, I want to try and get it back up to about 40 quid, and that's going to be a stop. So any top row number, 30 is my jackpot. 11 is good because I covered that to repeat. That's a good repeating number. Now it's a 36, which is fantastic. I've got an intersection bet. Let's play that. I do like these intersections. 10 on that. Um, I'll also do a pound on that, because that's my second bet for the top row. So high value number not hit. Third dozen's not hit. Top row's not hit. 27, 30, 33, 36. They're my jackpot numbers. If one of those lands, I've got my target, and that'll be the end of this setup. This is an intersection bet. 27, 30, 33, 36, ideally. Number 7, that is a nip. I'm going to repeat, oh, I'm going to repeat the same bet. I'm going to add an extra chip on that top row. So we're looking for 27, 30, 33, 36. I'm not doing the, four, the 15, 18, 21. I have got the 24 covered. Um, any top row number to hit, ideally 27, 30, 33, or 36. 32, we've got that covered. That's a, an intersection number. A little bit of money back. Now I'm going to switch my bet over to um, this. So 1, 2, 3, 4 on that. Then we do the 15, 18, 21, 24. 10 pence on 27 and on 12 and a split on those back down to 30 pounds but if it hits 15 18 21 and 24 or even the 12 or the 27 they're really good numbers to hit on anyway again intersection bets they're the best numbers the four numbers in that blue box 15 18 21 24 this will be a stop if it hits the fourth bet on the top row now this is the fourth bet on the top row number 34 is a miss. Repeat the bet. It's costing me 320. I'm going to add two chips on that top row. This is now the fifth bet for the top row. And I would really like this this one to hit. This has been a struggle, you see. This is what you call a struggle. And this is if you ever gets like this, and I've recognised it by saying it that this is a struggle. Uh, this is where you you would normally stop at this point. I'm just waiting for one more hit. So 15, 18, 21, 24. Then my jackpots. 
17's a hit on an intersection split. It only gives me a little bit of money back. Top roll's not hit. Do you know what I'm going to do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's uh, uh, £4 on that. I'm just going to do a £4 bet on that top row. I would normally do 15, 18, 21, 24 here. Hello. Better do it. Oh, I've got the 15 covered. Got a dealer change. The previous dealer's last spin was 17, which is not zero neighbours. So, I could bet on zero neighbours here as well, which is what I'm going to do, because my balance is sort of small and dwindling away. I want a top row number to hit, ideally 15. That's a bottom row number. So, 147. I think this is going to hit. So, I'm going to do zero neighbours. I'm going to do 50 pence at this. This is kind of a big bet for me. Because this will give me 13.50 return in terms of profit if it hits. Uh, so, 10 will give me 28. And the 13 will give me 31. So I'll get to about £32 if this hits. 4 through to 12. Change of dealer. Zero neighbours. 4 to 12. Keep going. Stop. There you go. 3's a hit. Thank you very much. That's a zero neighbours. And it's a top row as well. I got to 36.90. So I'm, I'm close to getting my money back here. Uh, I've, I'm going to say money back. I mean where I was when I hit 39.20. I'm just going to go the opposite side. Oh, I wanted to do 23 with four pockets either side. If this goes back to three neighbours, I'm going to I'm going to bet on the the 23 neighbours. So if this goes anywhere near zero neighbours on this spin, which it pretty much has done. Now I'm going to go with um I'm going to move it around here now. Uh, 20 pence on number 8 with 4 pockets either side. So I'm just going to quickly do this setup at the minute. Um, so I'm on, I'm on number 8 with 4 pockets either side. 9 numbers covered, 20 pence per number. If this hits, it's a stop. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to try and catch that 4 to go to 36 neighbour. And if it runs on or it falls shy, I might get the hit. So 8, eight neighbour I think I've done. No, that's a miss 22. I'm going to keep, click the same bet. I'm on 8 again, 20 pence per number. 24 to 13 is the bet. 24 to 13, because 22 likes to go down the wheel opposite the 0, so it could hit the 10 neighbour, which is what I'm hoping for on this spin. So 8 with 4 pockets either side, 24 to, 13 to 24. Anywhere near 10 is good. 13 to 24. Well, that's gone the opposite side, which is not what I want to see. Third dozen. Uh, well, let's go down here then, if it's a third dozen bet. This is the third crack. The third attempt. Uh, I've just doubled up on it, 40 pence per number, so I'm going for this one. I'm on 25 to 30, or 30 to 25, 33 to 25 on the racetrack. So anywhere near 30 would be good. 30, 11, 36, 13, 27, 20. No, it pulled it back. Well, that's not good. 22, we've got an intersection bet. I'll do the intersection bet, so I do like doing these. So it only takes one hit on one of these four numbers and then I'm, I'm laughing. I'm back down to £27.10. The intersection bet is 26, 29, 32, 35. With the splits on 27, 30, 33, 36, 25, 28, 31, 34. And I've got a smaller value on 23. So 26, 29, 32, 35. I don't want to see the zero because that's the only number I've not got covered. And it's right in between two of my numbers. 12. Oh. That would have been a hit. That's another one that's in between my two numbers, which is rather frustrating. Repeat the bet. I'm going to add the zero just in case that decides to play. And you can see my balance is at £24.10 now. So, yeah.
I've been on here for 29 minutes. I've outstayed my welcome. I should have stopped at 39.20. I'd be comfortable with that because it's close to 40 pounds. Uh, but I chose to ignore that and carry on for some reason. Anyway, 26, 29, 32, 35 and the zero. There you go, 26, jackpot number. That's an intersection bet. Gets me to 38.50. Fantastic. So, it looks like it's going to 22 and then zero neighbours. So, if it's doing that, I'm going to put two pockets out the side at 10 pence. Um, 26, 22. There you go, a one pound bet. 26 and 22 with two pockets out the side. That's what it looks like it's doing in the history. So, now I'm looking at that. 26 with two pockets 22 with two pockets and if this hits this should get me to my target Ta -da! 26 neighbor that's a hit number three i'm at 41 pounds 10 pence that's my target to get to 40 quid pretty much 41 pounds 10 so i'm one pound 90 so i wanted to make two i've got 190 10 pence shy more than happy with that 31 pounds 10 pence profit so far today Started with £10 deposit. I'm showing you how to build a balance, some little stakes. Uh, I've been doing this for years. And, you know, don't forget, please don't forget to check out my website where you can gain access to this tool, which costs absolutely nothing. It's called the Missing Section Roulette Tool. When I say absolutely nothing, it does cost to use it for 30 days, but it only costs £12.50 for 30 days access to this tool. Um, and I've made thirty-one pounds ten pence today, so I've covered the cost of using the tool, uh, you know, the cost of the tool, and I'm actually in profit. Now I'm not going to get profit every time I use it, every day that I play, because I don't play every day for one, and I don't use it all the time for two. So you know, I jump on, get a couple of hits, stop when I feel comfortable stopping, go about my daily business, come back again another time, build it, build it a little bit further till I'm comfortable, and then stop. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying the moment while I'm building my balance. Or trying to, anyway. Uh, thanks again for your time. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll be back later to do another recording to build it slightly further. Hopefully see you again soon. See you soon.